Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Let's see what's going on in another episode of your love life, your wonderful, amazing life. If you are new, please smash that like button and do subscribe to the channel. You can also become a member of my channel and also want to welcome Martha Coronado, Bruce Paycal, sorry if I don't say your last name correctly, uh, Danielle Joyce, welcome. Thank you for becoming a member. All right, you guys, and Don Ricky. Okay, so let's get into this reading. And if you want to get a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. Okay, Virgo. So you've got clock, <laughs> not today, and you've got a date. Oh, 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 oh. okay, Virgo going on here okay Virgo need time taking time like remember my cousin Vinny <laughs> when um, I forget her name in the in the show but Marissa Tomei she was stamping her foot her clock is ticking her biological clock is ticking her talk her clock is ticking so I feel like this is a message like you might feel like either you need some time to think about something in March or something's taking time or someone's taking time um or someone's in it like there's something here about you know the clock keeps ticking bottom line the hands are moving uh, time waits for no one and it won't wait for me what is that from the rolling stones okay so maybe you're taking time to heal all right let's take a look and see what are the messages? Well, you know what? I'm just going to keep going because I feel like you're not dealing with someone. Maybe you're, maybe some of you are like, no, you're out of time. Time's up. That's it. And somebody definitely wants to date you. It kind of feels like maybe you want more and someone just wants to date. Okay. Um, and some of you are just like, you know what? I'm not, you're avoiding a conversation or a call with somebody and you're accepting new dates or accepting a date or you're meeting somebody new. Hmm. And if that is kind of, I feel like there might be something here, like a continuation of yesterday's reading for some of you. So if you did not listen to yesterday's reading, definitely go check that out. Okay. So it looks like Virgo, the rest of March, you're really just seeking to be on top here seeking to be in a position of success progress to success okay maybe you're looking for a winning type of relationship yeah ten of pentacles so i uh, just get a sense like you want something that's solid and real leave some kind of a legacy maybe hmm that you got the tower so you're done with something, Virgo. This is what it looks like. I don't know if it's your approach, if it's a particular person, um, a particular relationship. You are, it looks like you're just not dealing with someone. You don't want to talk to someone. They've run out, of, maybe they've run out of time or you've run out of time with someone and you're moving forward here. Let me see. Now the tower can represent a Scorpio, well, Mars energy. So got the ace of cups and the page of cups um somebody could be reaching out to you to apologize or just wants to sweet talk you and that's why you're just kind of like no you don't want to talk to them you're just done with it perhaps you want new love you're ready for a new start now i know this is going to resonate for it's not going to resonate for everybody Wow, you're breaking out of the tower. So if you've been like um, locked up in a tower, if you felt like it, obviously we hope not, but like not really, but if you've been, and we have Leo energy here, if you feel like you've been, you're breaking out, Virgo, this is what it looks like. You're breaking out, going into some type of new energy. I feel like you just don't wanna be bothered with somebody. Who is this? 
or at the energy of non-progressive type of anything relationships career anything that isn't going to have growth and move forward or at least bring a place of stability because that's what you're looking for here somebody that like you're done with all the breadcrumbing if you feel like you've had breadcrumbing from others you're just like nah i don't have time for this let's see all right so it could be a connection with a an earth sign a king of pentacles masculine or feminine capricorn virgo taurus okay wow virgo yeah you're so breaking out and gonna start dating so if you've been in a relationship and i'm not talking about a relationship in your head <laughs> the a relationship in your head with someone that you, is not in your life does not exist and this should not pertain to you if you if you have been in that situation then you need to like come out of the clouds and get real with yourself but as far as like someone that you may have been involved with where it's just long non-stop dating and it's not progressing into anything tangible um, it looks like, Virgo, you're making this lifestyle change for yourself, okay? You're, you're breaking out of this dark, hidden, you're like escaping, getting out into the light, into the sun, and getting yourself, like you're going after what you want. Making changes, and you're moving pretty quick. It, this just gives me the, an energy of like, you know, someone blowing the roof off the house, and then the sun can get in, the light can get in, and then, you know, it's time to go. That's kind of what I feel like that energy is there. It's go time. It feels like it's go time for you. And it feels like somebody um, is reaching out to you in March or the rest of the remaining month trying to talk to you. A little bit of sweet talk. Um, could have something to do with relationship or a home okay a home or a living situation i don't feel like that i don't feel like the person is i mean they're a serious person but i don't feel like their communication with you is serious i feel like their communication with you is going to be pretty much like like just sweet nothings kind of thing and that might be why you just aren't listening to this with this night not today card I just feel like you're kind of hanging up the phone avoiding talking to someone i don't know if you're if you feel hurt putting up some boundaries i don't know if you feel angry you might you're avoiding somebody here you're not dealing with this so it looks like you're moving on yeah your clock's ticking don't have much time left on this earth if somebody wants to be with you they gotta come in with not just like the knight of pentacles but like with the lovers yeah so i feel like this person is him and han really they haven't decided they like a they like the emotional roller coaster i don't know what the heck that means they like the ups and downs the highs and lows this person struggles to be stable even though it's the knight of pentacles or the king of pentacles they might be stable in other areas of their lives but when it comes to romance they're not real um they're kind of like mm, what's that maybe they have like some i don't know like some bipolar energy or something um you know one like very up and down with the emotions okay so that gives me impression here maybe that's why you know the clock is ticking and you're 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 trying to be in a better position you don't want to be breadcrumbed you don't want to move uh, forward with someone here in march you're not talking you're gonna perhaps get out there and accept a date or ask somebody out having that awakening answering the call somebody calls you you decide to talk to somebody new yeah that's kind of what i feel like is happening here virgo 
and going you know going forward it looks like you just really don't want to you're putting somebody maybe on the back burner you might be juggling a little but you're putting someone on the back burner because um they're just coming in with some very light energy they don't want to progress something here i mean like they it's not that they don't i kind of feel like they do but they're they're unsure they're like yeah i guess i do or maybe i do it's more of a maybe it's kind of like well maybe which is you know maybe is that's kind of like a limbo scenario here okay yeah you're looking for that four of wands that's what you're accepting in your life with someone perhaps even marriage or you know um maybe somebody close to you to where you live there could be somebody showing up who's close to where you live or close to your family that you might accept a date from so got the knight i'm sorry the queen of cups and the page of swords you know you guys i just did my nails and like i inhaled all this all these fumes <laughs> so i'm like a little spacey right now um the queen of cups the page of swords so there's a there's a queen of cups masculine or feminine cancer scorpio pisces very curious about you watching seeking uh let's see what else can you tell virgo spirit about this hmm very focused on you virgo very focused now if you're involved with this person you may not be accepting other dates from others or you might be meeting this person um they could be somebody new but they're secretly watching they're secretly spying on you trying to get some intel <clears throat> and with the seven of wands it feels like they're kind of pushing back on uh being defensive and like like nobody can know they're hiding they're secretly you know secretly hiding watching what else does virgo need to know for march okay so you've got the emperor here so we have pisces there's Aries. There could be somebody on the cusp of Pisces and Aries. And a Queen of Wands. Fire sign. Okay. This person's showing up. Somebody's showing up here as a boss. Or someone who is in a position of authority. It could be a couple. Or it could just be the energy. Uh, I'm also seeing somebody works for a huge company. Or they're in a military position. Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, somebody waiting for you. Could be a fire sign waiting for you. Yes, there's a fire sign who's waiting. Waiting for you to arrive is what I'm picking up. I don't know what exactly that means, but it could be literally or um, metaphorically waiting for you to arrive. Or a couple waiting for you to arrive. So if you're going somewhere, or you're thinking about going somewhere, uh, those people are waiting to receive you, or one person, are wondering when you're going to be coming to visit, waiting for something to end, or when, maybe when you'll be available. Okay, now you've got the King of Cups. King, of, There's a King of Cups who... There's a friendship with a King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces here, um, that is, would like to go from friends to lovers, okay? There's an understanding between you and a water sign here, I'm seeing now, not letting you go, hmm, but may also be blocking, oh, there's a possessive energy from a King of Cups, uh, yeah. So I don't know if it's that Queen of Cups that's watching you, um, or it's it might be the same. Okay, so yeah, they're, they're they they want to talk to you. This King of Cups, they think that you guys have um, like you're on the same page. You there's an understanding. You guys have a really good connection, but there there's oh okay, 
but yeah seven of cups with the devil so this person has like a fantasy thing going on when it comes to you um they're very obsessed possessive physically attracted feel chained to you did you ghost them or you might be um or they see you in their dreams or they dream about the physical pleasure with you Ooh, this reading's getting weird feels like it's several different messages so you'll just have to like pick and choose what fits you capricorn showing up here too anything else that virgo needs to know okay someone's really hesitant about relocating or moving or traveling as well been down this road before been burnt burnt bridges uh, somebody's hesitant because of getting hurt maybe been hurt before that's the wounded warrior what else does Virgo need to know here for March oh Virgo needs to think about something Virgo Virgo what is your what is your greatest wish I feel like if somebody asked you Virgo what do you want if you could have like a genie in a bottle and you could get three wishes what would be your first three what would be your most important three wishes what would you want most you may maybe that's a lesson and um some practice in writing that down what are your three main things that if you could just snap your fingers rub the genie bottle and they came to you what would they be and i feel like that's really just help, might help you put things into prior like prioritize what's most important to you and then start working on those because obviously genie bottles don't exist but you never know uh, this feels mostly like with the hermit is like reflecting on what's most important to you some of you just want more money some of you want that hot passionate affair with someone um some of you want your dreams and visions to materialize to be able to um see an income coming from your dreams your visions the things that you you, you want them to materialize okay uh any more messages for virgo here for the month of march all right everything in moderation virgo Okay, new beginning will definitely come. Growth is already happening. If you go outside and you look in your garden and you see a sapling, that's a terrific sign that growth is, uh, things are beginning to happen. Any healing that you've done or that you're doing, your, your spirit will be renewed with growth as long as you're patient and take it in moderation and just wait for that to start happening. You're on the right path for growth. And there you are, Queen of Pentacles okay so this is really just be in your core be in your element virgo be honest with yourself truthful with yourself take a look at your finances whatever you know reach for the stars i just heard reach for the stars from woody <laughs> toy story did he say that reach for the stars somebody said that okay yeah Take a revisit to your past. That's fine. You can revisit your past. Just don't dwell in it. Don't dwell in your past. You may have a, a reconciliation happening with someone from your past as well in March. The rest of March and even going into April. Let me see here. Yeah, there will be a communication from someone from your past. It could be a fire sign. It could be a child or a sibling. It could be someone just from a long time ago. Um, this is good communication, good news, positive messages coming from someone from your past in March. Okay. Man, these fumes. I'll tell you what. All right, let's see. What other messages? Okay, yeah, you've got friendship. There is a friendship that will lead to more that's going to happen in March. Spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Okay. 
Okay, um, any rejection is actually divine protection. So if you're feeling any kind of rejection currently right now from whenever, um, that you're actually being protected. So turn that around. It's There's nothing wrong with you. It's a form of protection from something. Okay, it's for something better. Self-care, clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Yeah. This is being proactive. This is this isn't clear your energy field and focus on yourself before reacting. I mean, it could be, but you never want to be in a reactive state. You want to be in an active state. The only time you, I guess, you could be reactive, like if a piano is falling from the top of a building and you happen to spot it before it hits the ground. Uh, the best case is not to stop and act. The case is to like react and get away. Um, if you're in a dangerous situation, uh, I think probably reacting to that, to get away from that is good. But if you're not, think before you act. And that's part of your self-care. It's kind of like, take a few breaths, pause, and think about what you want to say or how you want to move forward with something. You're allowed to do that. And there's a relationship that someone feels deserves another, a second chance, okay? So you, you will experience that. You might even think about if you want to give someone another chance. Okay. Now, I know you've got not today. So I do feel like in the month of March, you're just not dealing. So maybe later you might, might want to give something a chance. Or I mean, you might just decide uh, just because they just think it deserves a second chance doesn't mean it does. Okay. So you have a lot on your plate here in March. I can't believe today is only Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Wait, what day is it? Yeah, Tuesday going into Wednesday. Okay, you have society. Say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way. Excellent networking opportunities and new love interests for singles will be the result. Cool. Yeah, there is there is a date coming up for someone new for some new singles, meaning someone new. A friend needs your help, your kindness, and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track so friendship a friend will be calling a major life change time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy and a trouble free experience and you had the knight of uh, swords there which is all about a lifestyle change so i do feel like a lot of you are changing some things up whether that's moving relocating um starting on a new foot in every and or any area of your life the time is now especially with spring being here for those of you in the uh, northern hemisphere and of course i guess some of you are getting you know um going into fall so whatever the situation the season is changing and so now i feel like it's time to go with the changes go with roll with the changes what's that song Keep on rolling, keep on rolling. Mario Speedwagon, I think. Okay, let's see what your other messages might be. Okay, some of you are going through a divorce or experiencing a breakup or breaking up with someone. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you, this actually came in reverse, so some of you might not be. There might be a changed mind about going through a divorce or a breakup. Fire sign. You might find out about this in March. There might have been somebody else in their life, or if you had a relationship um, and they were, and there was like somebody else in the situation, it looks like. Um, they're getting rid of that person. Okay. Narcissist in the reverse. That's interesting. Um, I feel like this is to tell you that the person that you think is a narcissist is not. doesn't mean they're not selfish. Okay. Um, but they're, they're not DSM narc. They're not like a full-blown narcissist. They're just immature and selfish. Now, if, if you know, like somebody you know has had an actual diagnosis, then disregard what I say. But if you're wondering, I feel like somebody isn't that way. They might just, like I said, be high on the selfish 
spectrum. Okay, what else does Virgo need to know here? Oh, somebody's getting a new pet or a new puppy or giving a current pet more love. Okay, I like that. Some of you just love your fur babies. I know, I know you love your fur babies. Okay, oh, is there a Mercury retrograde coming up? I'm not sure, but the Mercury retrograde card has just shown up. So, you know what, you guys, let me just check. Because if you if there was a Mercury retrograde situation that you went through where something happened, I feel like it has something it had something to do with the retrograde. Okay? Uh, let's see. Let me just double check. Oh. April 1st to April 24th which means that the end of March will be the pre-shadow phase. Got it, okay. So prepare yourselves for the Mercury retrograde. Oh yeah, there could be people coming back um, that you need to let go of or that you have let go of. Some of you need to pay attention to that. Um, I feel like there is because there was a reconciliation card. And also say no to gambling. <laughs> Problems with addiction, gambling, or bad finances. Say no. Just say no. Okay, I'm going to leave those there. And then we're going to move on to... I want to see what your Chinese sign is. Show the Virgo who's listening. If this reading is more specific to them, show them their Chinese sign. Okay, year of the monkey... Year of the Rat, Year of the Snake, Year of the Dragon, Year of the Rooster, Year of the Ox, Year of the Tiger, and Year of the Rabbit, okay? So if I didn't call your Chinese sign, that doesn't mean it's the reading's not for you, it's just more specifically to those who are listening. All right, so Aquarius is showing up here. Someone's born in May. Someone is 53, August 26. Someone is 38. Someone is 44. Keep on rolling. September 8th, uh, initial T, initial I. Someone is 55. Someone is born in 88. Okay, we got a T again, TT, someone is 35, uh, QT, cutie, like a cutie, someone called you cutie, or you call somebody cutie, someone's in LA or Los Angeles, someone's in Quebec, someone's in Maryland, 1986, TIT, someone likes your TITS, um, okay. September 15th, August 31st again. September 22nd, 63, 70, September 6th. Okay. Um, I just heard Albuquerque and I just heard Akron. And uh, Montreal. I wonder if I get all this Canada stuff. Letter J. 1976. Okay, someone's in Georgia. Is somebody getting their GED? Someone's Italian. Um, and they're saying Edmonton and Erie, Erie, Pennsylvania. Mm. Okay, hold on a second. Oh, uh, the letter D. Someone's name is Edward or Ed. Ed or Jed. Okay. Got the letter A. Someone's name starts with an A. Okay, let's let's get a couple of more zodiac signs who you're dealing with. So we Aquarius, Leo, Capricorn, and Sagittarius. 
Taurus, Leo, Virgo, Capricorn. Pisces, Libra, Libra, Gemini. Gemini's always here. I feel like Gemini just comes here to visit. Like, we don't even know what's going on. What's up, Gemini? If you're a Gemini sun with some Virgo in your chart, welcome to the Virgo channel. Okay. Let's get some charms. All right. That's cute. Well, this is cute for the spring, of course. For those of you in the going through the spring season, we have a Easter, like a bunny, bunny rabbit with a little pearl. So yeah, bunny rabbit is significant, obviously going into the spring. Um, also something might be happening around the Easter holiday, which if you celebrate Easter, that's March 31st. So that's the end of the month. Hmm. And also, oh look it's an avocado are you eating avocado right now are you like avocado also this rabbit can represent the year of the rabbit someone that you know born in the year of a rabbit significant to you but um yeah something here to do with an avocado maybe you're eating healthy getting some healthy fat so you're just having an avocado or doing something with some avocados that you and that you like making like some kind of dip or something an avocado dip all right what else does virgo oh what's this okay i'm just gonna give you one more charm so you have a parrot i think it's a parrot no is that a parrot yeah there's a parrot on a perch okay if someone's got an attachment to a parrot if you have a parrot leave me a comment i just need to know but there is um hmm. They just said um, unexpected communication coming in. But someone that you talk to, Virgo, or that you communicate with is very scripted. They kind of say the same thing over and over again. Like they, they're, they're repetitive in their speech. Um, they just have this, they just kind of, they, they talk, oh, they talk about certain topics all the time. Same kind of topics. They don't really veer too far from certain topics. It's always, you know, like they talk about just particular topics, you know, it's very scripted speech, you know, kind of like a parrot, parrot learns things to say and then just keeps repeating those same things. Um, maybe that's why you're hanging up the phone. <laughs> like, I don't want to hear about this anymore. Um, or somebody just keeps giving you the same spiel. Yeah, there might be something along those lines. And you're kind of like, nah, just if it's a romantic relationship of some sort, you might be just done with it i don't know virgo i'm gonna have to wait and see what you do um or how things turn around but i know these messages were kind of jumbled because i, I just felt like the, the the core of the message came out and then i just wanted to see what else could come up that i could give you so i'm gonna leave that there go enjoy the rest of my fumes here and yeah if you want to get a personal reading click on the link in the description box thanks for everyone buying the extended reading um I know some of you were very, very happy with that. So thank you so much. And you're very welcome. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. And I'll see you all back here tomorrow. All right, bye. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.